Hello again! Today just a quick proof of concept video because it didn't turn out as good as I wanted it, so let's have a quick look. Um, this is an automatic furnace station. Over here we have module A, which turned out pretty good. I like it a lot. What it does, it um, gets a minecart. The chest minecart to be more specific, which enters here. Then it gets filled with sand and coal. Let's wait for it. And here it comes, back out on this side, it's that filled with sand, exactly 64 sand and 8 coal in exactly this order. And then over here we have module B, which is the actual furnace, um, which didn't turn out as I wanted it, it's pretty big and ugly as you can see, and all that redstone only for one single furnace, which makes it pretty slow compared to the size it overall needs. But let's still have a look of, at how I made this. Um, pretty simple, we have normal furnace in here. When we have a completely empty furnace and we use a hopper to fill it, um, the hopper will start in the top slot and when it's full, fill in the bottom slot. Uh, that's the reason we need exactly this order, first the sand and then the coal in our storage which we use to refill the furnace. And also to get out the final ores, or in this case the glass out of the furnace, whatever we just cooked in it, we need to wait for all the other slots, or better to say for those both slots to clear out. That's the only way we can get this glass at the moment. Maybe they will change it in the future snapshots. Let's see. Um, and that's why we need exactly eight coal. So when all the sand is gone, also all the coal is gone. Well, we take this all by a butt switch. Thank God they still work. Clear out the whole dispenser, uh, furnace, and the glass gets transported down here in this kind of storage system. Then gets refilled by our chest minecart. The chest minecart gets refilled in here and then waits again here in this corner for the next refill. Um, on top of here we have chest with coal and one with sand to refill. As I said, I'm pretty pleased with this design here, but um, I won't explain to you detail how this works today. Maybe you find even smaller designs so I don't want you to occupy your brains with my ideas here. Not that much. I am hoping that some of you will find very compact or at least definitely more compact ways than I did to make automatic furnace station. Would be really cool to have one. I mean fully automatic so the ores get actually transported out of the furnace again. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. And a small bonus. Just something we came up with while derping around. Two clock designs. Uh, the first one, small item elevator, transports items up. They get transported down again and then up again. And the other one is based on hoppers. Chest minecart gets emptied into a hopper, and when the hopper is full, the chest minecart gets transported to the side, so the hopper now can refill the chest minecart in a cycle. And we use two here to make that work. So as soon as that hopper is full, this minecart will go up. Actually, not that bad. It takes 23.5 seconds approximately for one cycle. So actually, compared to, let's say, a lava timer, could be worth. So yeah, again, thanks for watching and see you next time.